Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I am going to talk about a very important topic for your upcoming exam. So guys, the topic is Ising model. And after watching this video till the end, you will have a very clear idea about the important expressions related to this topic. Also guys, this video is under the series which is known as Topper's Track. Clear? So in this series you will get so many videos and how I am going to provide you the topics or the discussion in all these videos. So what kind of discussion is going to be there? So guys, I will provide you tricks, topics, concepts and questions in these videos under the series that is Topper's Track. So guys, now in this video the topic which we are discussing is a topic of statistical mechanics. And now let's quickly start the discussion and don't miss any part of the discussion, okay, to know about this topic well. At the end, after telling you about the important expressions and the formulae, at the end I'm going to let you know about one question which you all will try and you will solve. And after solving that question, what do you need to do? You just need to comment the answer about that question, whatever option is correct, according to you, you will comment that option okay below this video and uh, then i will reply you whether it is your correct answer or not and even i'm going to provide you the steps to solve it i will provide you the ideas regarding the steps so that easily everybody will be able to do it now let's quickly start the discussion so what is ising model and why we are going to study it what kind of questions we can get and what are the important formulae related to this topic so guys, Ising model has been investigated to study the behavior or to know about the substances whose molecules are going to possess the magnetic moment. Clear? So this is the thing like why we are having this Ising model topic and why we study it. Now next thing, in the exam like CSI or net physics exam, the questions from this topic have been asked so frequently. So there are great chances that in upcoming exam as well you can get the questions based on this topic. Now let me just tell you the formulae which are like very important formulae from this topic. So the first one is total energy okay of any substance if you want to write. How you will write that total energy? So guys in this case we consider that that total energy will be due to the interaction between the particles as well as due to the magnetic uh, properties okay so that's going to be due to that magnetic field as well as interaction between particles so you are having two different terms in this electric field uh, in this energy expression clear so energy of total system will be equal to minus j summation sigma i sigma j minus mu b h summation sigma i okay and summation will be over i here and over i and j here. Now what are these sigmas? Clear? In general, in questions, you will get the mu b and h written as it is. You just need to work with the sigma values. Clear? Now what are the sigmas here? So sigma is representing the Ising spin. Ising spins can have only two possible values. One is plus one, another one is minus one. So as you can see, I have written here, sigma is equal to plus one or minus one. Okay, next thing. The first term here is representing the interaction energy. While the second term is representing interaction energy associated with magnetic field. Clear? So these are the two different energy terms we have mentioned here to write the total energy of the system. Next thing. Guys, if we may get the questions based on like partition function related to Ising model topic. So guys, in this case, what are the partition function expressions corresponding to this first term, okay, and corresponding to this second term. So if somewhere they are just going to ask you for interaction uh, between the particles corresponding to that, if they are asking you to write the partition function, so that partition function for n particles will be 2 to the power n cos hyperbolic beta j to the power n minus 1 okay as i have mentioned it here then for magnetic field it's going to be corresponding to second term 
इट इज टू टू दी पावर एन कॉस हाइपरबोलिक म्यू बीटा एच टू दी होल पावर एन एज आई हैव मेंशन हियर क्लियर सो गाइस आफ्टर नोइंग अबाउट दीस पार्टीशन फंक्शंस सेपरेटली फॉर इंटरेक्शन एनर्जी ड्यू टू द इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन पार्टिकल्स एंड दिस मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इंटरेक्शन एनर्जी सो गाइस इफ यू वांट टू नो अबाउट द पार्टीशन फंक्शन फॉर कंप्लीट सिस्टम we should also know this thing that complete or total partition function we find by taking the product of the partition functions so it is multiplicative in nature okay normally students can think like okay if we are finding total partition function why we are doing the multiplication here because partition function is multiplicative in nature okay and here i have mentioned the partition functions for n particles this is for complete system when i have taken the product but even if you want to write it for separate interactions possible in the system so i have told you for that as well clear so guys this is the important information about the partition function and energy okay from the ising model topic which everybody should know and after knowing about these things now you will be able to solve like you can try any previous year question from this topic and you will be able to solve all of them now one thing so i'm going to give you one question here from this topic you already know that s0 s1 and s2 are the ising spins here that has been mentioned and its possible values for s0 s1 and s2 will be either plus 1 or minus 1 what do you need to do make a table okay in that table write the values of s0 s1 and s2 after that write the energy term energy already given here the hamiltonian is given so you can write the total energy clear and what do you need to find you need to find the average energy of the system so guys now you can try this uh, question and for average average energy even i'm going to let you know the formula so average energy will be if you don't know you can note it down to solve this question so average energy is equal to sub summation over i ei e to the power minus beta ei upon z z is the partition function which is summation over i okay gi e to the power minus beta ei even in the numerator the gi term will be there that is t generic so i'm repeating the formula once more because we have not mentioned the gi in the numerator before so guys the formula is summation over i ei gi e to the power minus beta ei upon summation over i gi e to the power minus beta ei that is the formula for average energy which you can write and after writing it you will easily be able to get the answer for this question you all can try it and after solving this question you need to mention the answer whatever option is correct according to you or whatever whatever option you are getting mention it in the comments okay and i will let you know whether it is right or it is wrong okay and what exactly which answer is right here okay so i will mention that thing as well done so guys this is your question which you will try and you can even try more questions from this topic i hope now you are finding it very easy okay it is actually easy so if you will even have any doubt you can comment below this video and i will try to discuss it then so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end also guys one more thing you will get so many important videos based on important tricks important concepts and important questions for your upcoming exam preparation clear so in this series which is toppers track done so keep on watching all the videos and if you are new on this channel you can subscribe the channel click on the subscribe button below this video after clicking on subscribe click on the bell icon to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos i will provide you on this channel now guys one more thing that If you want to get the guidance by all the top educators we are having on An Academy Plus for your exam preparation, so you can also take An Academy Plus subscription. And after taking the An Academy Plus subscription, you will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators we are having on An Academy Plus for your exam preparation. Also, guys, you will get so many benefits like weekly quizzes, mock tests, PDF of important notes, recordings of the live sessions. uh once the session will end after some time recordings will be available to you so any day if you are not able to attend the live class you can watch the recordings and you can cover up the things one more thing guys 
whenever you will take the academic plus subscription you can use the referral code that is Anjali Arora write first a capital all other alphabets in a small apply it and get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount there are so many new unacademy plus courses which are just going to start which will surely help you in doing the best preparation so you can even check them in unacademy learning app and uh, if you want to take the subscription download the unacademy learning app log into the app select your goal then click on the three lines present in left hand side corner then click on plus then click on get subscription and follow the further steps. One more thing, whenever you will take the subscription, use the referral code Anjali Arora, apply it and get the 10% discount in the total Academy plus subscription amount. Thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you.